In this video, we're going to talk about how you sign up for Coinbase. You can sign up directly with Coinbase and, uh, and be on your way. But however, if someone has been talking to you about Coinbase, like I am, and they give you a referral number, it's uh, ID, it's nice if you use it. In this case, this is my referral ID. To Coinbase. Why? Because when you use it uh, and you enter or uh, you transfer a hundred dollars in currency in or out of uh, uh, Coinbase, I will get ten dollars and you will get ten dollars. So ten dollars is ten dollars. So why not use someone's uh, Coinbase referral ID? And again, this is mine if you have nobody uh, that's been talking to you about Coinbase. Otherwise, use theirs. Moving on. Once you click the link, this page should come up. And, um, or if you don't click the link, it should come up anyway. But we're going to assume that you did click a referral link. It's going to ask you to enter your first name, last name, an email, and a password. Now note, when this page comes up, right here is going to be, in my case, it will show my email address and it will show my password, but of course it will be dot 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 dot. Why? I have no idea. But you need to put in your good email address and a good strong uh, password. This is your username information to log in to Coinbase in the future. This has to be a good email because what Coinbase do, they're going to be sending you a verification uh, email that you need to open up to verify things. And of course you click, you're not a robot, I agree to the terms, and click sign up. Next, you will get a message that says verify your email. And it will tell you what email it sent it to. Go to that email, open it up, and you should see a line that says Coinbase, please verify your email. Once you open it up, you click on verify uh, email address. And the moment it's verified, this screen will come up and it says your email has now been verified. Thank you. Now also on this page, if you're not in the United States, you will have to click this link and select your country. If you are in the United States, then you got to click on this drop down and pick the state that you live in. And then click the submit. Now if you forget to do this, uh, like I did, uh, later on in the sequence of uh, signing up, uh, this page will come back up and I'll tell you to please enter your state. If all goes well, this page will come up. You're in Coinbase now and you should see your name here. Now we need to point out that somewhere in this in this in this process, I would suppose before you transfer any currency in the bitcoins that you will get a message to uh, enter your uh, your ID. The ID uh, consists of a copy of your driver's license front and back and a, and a photo of you, of your face. Uh, it's going to ask you to do it with your cam recorder or you can do it with your smartphone. I had to use my smartphone because my camcorder could not get a good image of my license. But during this recording, I did not get that uh, message for the ID, but just be aware of it. Okay, this is the message that popped up. Remember I told you earlier I forgot to enter my state? Well, it popped up on me and I had to enter, in my case, California, then read submit. If you didn't mess up, then you won't see this screen. The next thing in the sequence is the, uh, the phone. Uh, you enter the country you're in, the United States, when you do that, in this box here, that your country code will pop up. For me, I'm in the United States, so 
the plus one is in that box. The rest of it is your phone number. It has to be in this format. Uh, of course, not 222-333-444. It's your actual phone number. And it needs to be your, your smartphone uh, number because they're going to be send you, sending you a verification to verify. Uh, in my case, I'm using a Google Voice number. So I, I, uh, I can go to my computer to get this uh, verification number. But most likely, most people will be using their smartphone. Next, it's going to ask you to verify uh, that code that they sent you to your phone, or in my case, to uh, my Google Voice. So I copied it and put it here, or you may have to type it in. And then you click Verify Phone Number. Now at this point I want to point out that every time you sign in to Coinbase, it's going to ask you to verify a number. So you're going to have to keep going to your phone. But if you're going to be going into Coinbase several times a day, uh, let's say to watch the fluctuation of Bitcoins, then you have the option to click to be notified once every 30 days. Again, that's totally an option. After your phone has been verified, the next step is the payment. Now, you could do this now or you could do it later. Uh, you could do it later by signing back in Coinbase, scrolling down on your home page to the bottom, and you'll see this. But uh, in any case, for the payment information, they need your bank account information and or your credit card information. It's up to you which one you want to use or both. If you use your bank account, when you buy coins, uh, they're, they're not available for four to five days. That's because the banking systems like PayPal, PayPal have to do their, their thing. But using your credit card, uh, you'll have a, a limit that you can use and you can always uh, up the limit, but nonetheless, you'll be giving a limit which you can use, but it's instantaneous. In my case, my limit was $50, and so when I clicked it, $50 were instantly bought in, uh, in Bitcoins. And then I had to wait uh, three or four days uh, for it to come back up to $50. It sort of increases uh, $1 every two or three hours. Now, with respect to credit cards, I may have said this, the uh, process is real simple, so I'm not going to cover it. But for the bank, as soon as you click on it, what's going to happen, you're going to get this welcome message. And it wants, again, we're talking about uh, verifying your bank stuff, setting it up. It's going to ask you for your username and password for your bank. If you're not on, if you don't have a username and password, uh, because you're not online to do your banking, then uh, you may have to go to your bank and uh, and get signed up so you can get a username and password. But that's what it's looking for. With that, without that information, you can't continue uh, attaching your bank account, your checking account, uh, to uh, Coinbase. And again, to repeat, that uh, you can always uh, get out of Coinbase and then sign back in, come back to this section, and add your payment information. And that's all I'm going to cover in this video, uh, covering how you buy Bitcoins uh, so you can use it uh, in the various exchanges like uh, BitConnect that I'm in. Uh, that's going to be covered in a different video. I hope the video was helpful to you, and good luck in signing up, and let's make money together.